I am back again to share with you a little bit of God's Word. And today, I want to focus again on that devotional Bible we've been using, one big story Bible. But this time, I want to focus on the sixth day, the second part of the sixth day, when God speaks about Adam and Eve. Uh, remember Adam and Eve? They were in the garden. Well, I want to read a few verses and uh, want to read only verse 26 and 27 and 28. All right. So I'm reading from God's word. Genesis chapter one, verses 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. They will rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the livestock, the whole earth, and the creatures that crawl on the earth. Verse 27, so God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. Verse 28, and God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful, multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and every creature that crawls on the earth. Now, children, isn't it interesting that on that sixth day of creation, God made the animals. He made all the animals that would be on the earth. He made all those creeping creatures or all, all of those um uh, reptiles, all of those lizards, all of that on the earth. And then he created Adam and Eve. He created male and female. But I want you to notice that in verse 26, he says, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Now, why does God speak like that? Might it not be because when he speaks of our, he's speaking of who he is, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, what we also call the Trinity, yeah? But then notice, he says, let's make them in our image and in our likeness. Now, does that mean that we can be like God? Well, to a certain degree, yes. We certainly are not going to be eternal like God. We're not going to be all powerful like God. We're not going to be all knowing like God. We're not going to be in every place at all times like God. But you know something? God can see. Does he have eyes? Do his eyes have a pupil? Do his uh, eyes have a retina? No, but he can see. Can God smell? Well, he doesn't have a nose, but he can smell. The Bible says that Israel presented offerings before him and God said, oh, it was a sweet fragrance before him. Yeah. Uh, can God feel? Well, doesn't have Feelings, emotional feelings like us, but God can feel. Can God hear? Does he have ears? Well, no, not like us, but God can hear. So isn't it interesting? We can be like God in that sense. But now, would you notice that God also made all these animals and who's going to control them? He says, that he made them so they would rule, so that they would have dominion over them. That's why we can own pets and they mind us. That's why we can own horses and they mind us. That's why we can have cows and we can milk them. That's why there are zoos, because we can control them. Isn't it something? God made Adam and Eve. Children, listen now. God made Adam and Eve. And then God made them perfect in a perfect setting. 
Now, pretty soon, of course, we're going to get to chapter 3, and we're going to talk about how Adam and Eve, who were perfect, became sinners. That's why you and I need Jesus. But isn't it wonderful to know that we were made in his image so that we can talk to him, so that we can worship him, so that we can seek his face. So I trust that you're going to do that. You're going to do that daily. May God bless you as you think on these things. We'll see you.